I'm Andrea Abreu Lopez. I'm from the Canary Islands, North Africa. I'm 27 years old and I'm uh, the author of Panza de Burro. I'm a writer and at the same time, I'm a dancer and I'm a poet. Panza de Burro is a book about the difficult boundaries that you have in the relationships when you are a girl pre-teenage. I used to be all the time kissing with my friends when I was a child, but when I arrived to the adult world, they used to ask me, when was your first kiss? And in this heterosexual vibe, I used to say it was with a boy. But when I discovered I was bisexual, I, I've learned that my first kiss w was with my friends. I just uh, noticed that there was a story there about the boundaries between friendship and love. And that's what I wanted to tell. Also, I discovered it was not really common to have uh, real working class stories in literature. My mother is a cleaner and my father, he's a worker. He builds houses for the tourists. In the Canary Island, most of the people uh, pass their whole lives serving other people. And all the representations we had, they were from the touristic point of view. But I was so tired of this that I had the clear idea that I have to tell it from the inside. Comerme a Isora. Isora tenía los ojos verdes como un verdino verde, como una mosca en agosto sobre el bocadillo de salpicón de atún en la playa de Teno. Como una botella de vino vaciada, la abuela de Isora se enfadaba y le decía te vacío por dentro, te vacío, y bebo sangre tuya, cachoputa. Isora tenía las tetas redondas y se le reventaron como la tierra cuando escupe una flor que primero pequeña, luego grande, la tierra de su pecho seca, luego estrías, la teta no le cabía en la piel y lloraba. Isora tenía pelos en el pepe y a veces se los afeitaba todos hasta el hueco del culo y le picaba el culo. Y Sora tenía un pelo negro, tieso, tupido, como el césped de mentira de las casas rurales en el Pepe. El pelo de Isora olía a molino de gofio, almendras tostadas, a pan bizcochado. Ver a Isora llegar me hacía sentir tranquila, como cuando escuchaba el potaje hirviendo a las doce y media. I try to create a style which is based in the Canary Islands and it's kind of trashy, rural, dirty realism. And I also love poetry. So all the time I'm uh, writing a poem. A lot of people from my environment, they don't know uh, how to write properly. And um, when I was um, a teenage, I was a little bit ashamed because they told me you have to know for well the rules of language and everything. But then I discovered it was really nice because working class people, they have a great uh, language creativity. So I'm trying to reconnect with that and I do it through the language we use in uh, social media. I really believe my generation is not destroying the language. We are really creating something new. With this second novel, I have everything structured, which is different from the first one because I I was more like f going with the flow. And for this, it's really helpful to reread all the books I believe in because um, they are like the Bible for me. This book is uh, Ladrilleros, which is like brick makers. She's called uh, Selva Almada. She writes from the point of view of working class people and she talks about uh, the miscommunication in masculinity. Um, and I really liked uh, the way they look because they are not looking, but at the same time they are looking. And this is the way I've seen all men in my life communicating. I always felt the most important things were not uh, told. And I really believe literature is about the things we never say. When I arrived to the university, uh, there was a period in which I couldn't uh, dance anymore because I thought it was not uh, normal for a person who wanted to write. Like it was not intellectual or something. But the more and more I deconstructed my own um, classism, I discovered that I could uh, write and dance uh, European music at the same time. Right now I can live uh, from literature, that's crazy. But I really feel the difference 
I, I really think we have to stop idealizing uh, poorness in, in creativity. We really need good conditions to write and to do things. And that's why working class people don't write, because they don't have the time. When Pasaporta wrote me this email in which they told me to make this residence, I was so grateful that I said, okay, even if I don't like to travel, I think I'm making this because I have the feeling in my heart that it's going to be so nice. And I, it is so nice. I really have uh, this weird connection with this country. Like, I feel, I feel home. I feel home because it is full of people from around the world and I don't feel weird. Mm -hmm.